Welcome to Golden Square. This is in Soho in London. My name's TJ and I'm one of the malt whiskey ambassadors for Diageo. As a malt whiskey ambassador, it's fantastic because through our portfolio, we get to taste and work with so many incredible other whiskies, one of which is Johnny Walker. My left hand side down here, you may see some other square bottles with labels at an angle. Those are all bottles of Johnny Walker featuring from red, black label, right the way up to our blue label. And in front of me is the third in a series of the ghost and rare blue label from Johnny Walker. This one here is the Glenuri Royal. Glenuri Royal was founded in 1825 by Captain Robert Barclay, five years after the Johnny Walker brand launched in 1820. Next year is 2020, and it's the 200 year anniversary for Johnny Walker, and we're building up with these by launching these fantastic ghost and rare series. This one here features three ghost distilleries, but focusing on that Glenuri Royal, which is from the east coast of Scotland. However, it also has Pity Vech, which is a um, amazing and almost forgotten ghost distillery from Speyside, and also Canvas. Uh, from near Stirling, which is a green distillery. But this one here is something that we're going to taste. I'm joined by Henry from Master of Malt, and we're going to taste this fantastic whiskey. Mm. I always love that noise that comes out every time you pull a bottle, uh, a cork out a bottle. I do have a belief that you should only ever put, a, or a cork should only ever be put in a bottle of whiskey once because you should share it with your friends. Once that corks out, throw it away and make sure you and all your friends enjoy it. But today, we're gonna to enjoy this fantastic- You're gonna have the whole bottle. Uh, I don't think we'll have the whole bottle right now. We'll wait until after filming and we'll see how we get on. But for now, we can have a look at the color of that. Strange because it's light and honey-like, but also there's slight hints of red and ruby coming through as well. It's really, really unique. On the nose, it's sweet, succulent, almost like hints of apple and pear coming through with the obvious caramel, toffee and vanilla in the background. When we go to taste this, I'm really looking forward to this. We've tasted a few whiskies together and this is one I think that we're both really gonna enjoy together. That gentle spice that comes from the front dries out quite quickly. But you're left with that smooth, succulent, toffee, caramel, kind of a bit like caramelized apple along there as well. What do you think? It's lovely, yeah, it's really nice. Is it sort of, I don't know how to describe it. Is it tobacco or something like that in there? Kind of dried tobacco, I think, you know, from that spice it moved into dry oak and then moves into that sort of hints of tobacco west from cigars that come from there as well. Hints of citrus that follow through. That's definitely coming from part of a couple of our space side distilleries, um, such as that Pity Bay. But this here, Johnny Walker, Blue Label, Ghosts and Rare, Glenary Royal, tastes as good as that packaging looks. Cheers. Cheers.